Hi there, I'm John Mita. My goal with each of these videos is to give you a smidgen of AI knowledge and perspective. I was just in Frankfurt at the Dialogue Museum. If you haven't checked it out, please do. You take the perspective of someone who cannot see for an hour. I can't explain what I experienced. So good example of what AI really can't do yet. On the AI front, I've begun posting on threads, the new non-Twitter. I'm trying to make a daily AI and design thought of the day, a daito, and it means long sword in Japanese. My thought today was, whoa, embedding models. Similarity, my last video talked about a number to describe similarity. Depending upon the model you use, that similarity index is going to be different because the model itself is different. As you begin to enter the space of this new kind of AI, it gets confusing because a number is no longer a number that you think meant that same number. The thread feed is for daily ahas, but since you're here on this video, let me give you one bit of aha that I had just last month where I realized that the model hallucinates, aka makes up stuff, because you haven't prompted it to be able to be wrong. What does that mean? You're asking the model to kind of answer your test. You're the teacher and you've got to give it a question and it's got to give you an answer. And so when you're asked by the teacher, you got to make up an answer. But if instead you said, I, as a teacher, allow you to be wrong, what happens is that the model can actually not make stuff up on the fly and instead say, I don't know, teacher, and isn't penalized. Like a good boss, a good pilot with their co-pilot. They're saying, hey, co-pilot, if you don't know what I said, make sure you tell me. So that's a pro tip for you prompting out there. Reduce hallucinations, just letting the model know it's okay to be wrong because you want to know when it's being wrong. And that's your quick design and AI smidgen. I'm on threads and I'm on this YouTube thing. Let's keep going.